Hey, what's going on? Another lens review. This is one's on the Q-Series um, lens. Um, this is the 06 telephoto lens, the 15 to 45 millimeter lens, f2.8 throughout. Go over that in a second. Uh, actually, I didn't. I wasn't going to buy this lens. I was try trying to keep the system as cheap as possible. This lens is hundred dollars. Some of some of the other lenses are a lot cheaper, uh, but um, so. I wasn't going to buy it. I originally bought a little adapter, um, 110 adapter, and bought all these old Pentax uh, 110. I got a lot of them for fairly cheap. Um, and it came with a 20 to 40 millimeter f2.8 that fit on this adapter. And I was like, oh, this is great. I won't have to buy that autofocus uh, zoom. I'll save some money there. Um, but the 20 to 40, it's kind of a rare lens. It's 20 to 40 on, on 110. When you get all the way out at 40, it does not focus to infinity, I found. So I was like, oh man, that, that's not good. It might be this adapter. I don't know if you have that. Maybe this one's just slightly the the length here is off. I don't know. But anyway, um, but yeah, it didn't focus to infinity. So I was like, well, I, got, I, I went ahead and sold that lens. And with the money, I had almost... I think I sold it for sixty dollars, so that was most of the money for this. This cost a hundred bucks used. I actually found a Pentaxian in, uh, in the states. I thought I was going to have to order it from Japan. Um, guy in my own state. I thought there was only like one Pentaxian per state allowed, <laughs> but uh, he was in Nashville. Uh, I live in Tennessee, and uh, I, yeah, I won the the auction and got this lens. Anyway, um, so something to think about this lens before you buy it you might be thinking well this is 15 to 45 uh, basically a, a 70 to 300 uh, equivalent and but it's f 2.8 throughout and that sounds really intriguing you kind of don't think about it you just think f 2.8 throughout it's like the 70 to 200 f 2.8 throughout but you have to calculate the depth of field um, by the sensor size in there and that uh, it's really fun to, if, side note, if you hadn't um, messed around with the depth of field calculator, there's lots of apps online and even apps for your phone that you could uh, use, and it's very fun to do them with this camera. But you kind of have that mindset that this is going to be f2.8, so you're going to be able to get some pretty shallow depth of field with this. You you're, are not. Um, here, here's just a shot I could show you with my... Uh, K70, I'm trying to frame up exactly where it was. Both of these are shot at f4. So f4, you can see there's a little bit of shallowness of depth of field here, and then now the Q right here. So <laughs> you can see there that everything, it's very strong depth of field. Nothing's shallow there. Um, and I, you know, I calculated that out. I can't remember what the focal range, what, what I was at or whatnot, but they're both f4. And uh, the, the equivalent for the Q on full frame camera was like f22 so <laughs> uh, that tells you there so um, but you could still get some uh, shots with some bokeh in this you just have to make sure you you know your uh, background is far away from the subject to get that nice bokeh but um, just keep that in mind don't be thinking you're going to get some shallow depth of field with this with this lens but it is very sharp um, very nice lens I've got I'm going to show you several images here um, now the echinacea the purple cone flower is coming out right now so my next few videos I love that flower you might see a lot of those uh, videos in there as, as sample images and it st. John's Ward is fixing to to bloom in my area as well so um, yeah take a look at those images um, another thing to think about with this lens it's not a downfall of the lens it's just something to think about it's a 300 millimeter equivalent so you're probably used to using a crop sensor camera and you probably maybe have a uh, telephoto that's uh, you know the, the 55 to 300 or 70 to 300 um, so you're used to that 300 on the crop sensor camera which is actually a 450 millimeter on a full frame camera I hope all of this is making sense you could ask a question below if, if, if you need be so when I'm when I was using this camera and I would you know go all the way to a photo I found myself wanting to go a little bit further because um, I'm used to the you know my other the 450 equivalent on a crop sensor camera so the only bad thing about that is with my crop sensor camera if something uh, was 
small out in the distance, I could actually just crop in a little bit and, and uh, editing, and that would be okay. But with this, with this camera, you can't because really, because it's 12 megapixels, so your image will degrade a lot quicker than it would on, say, like a 24 megapixel camera. So just keep that in mind. Sounds like I'm like saying this is a bad lens, but I'm not. You see by the images here, I'm just giving you something to think about. Um, some stuff that I didn't really think about, or I just, I knew, but I didn't really think about before buying it. So, anyway, I'm going to be selling this lens. Oh, oh, as far as focus, I did find this focus on this thing is very quick, but when you, oh, another thing. So, like, it has this lockdown. So, when you turn it on, it will say, I don't know if you can see that. Well, it just, it just says it's locked. So you got to extend it out to 15 to unlock it, and then it could go all the way. It's kind of like a, there's an M42, or not M42, Micro Four Thirds, their kit lens for Olympus. It does the same thing if you're, if you're familiar with that. Um, so, yeah, so focus on this thing. The, the closest focusing distance is like three and a, uh, three and a quarter feet. Um, focus is good and fast. I did find it to be, sometimes it wouldn't lock down. Focus wouldn't lock down when I was, I was obviously farther than the closest focusing distance, but if for some of the closer up shots, it didn't want to lock down on focus. It did that a little too often for me. If you have this lens, does it do the same thing for you? Anything far away, it focused fine, quick, super, but this one uh, just yeah, sometimes it just wouldn't lock down. So it's like, oh, that's that's not a big deal. I could just go to manual focus. Well, if you the manual focus on this is is bad. Uh, I, I never did try the manual focus on the kit lens because it the autofocus on it was nailing, nailing down every time. So I never felt the need to to use that. So um, yeah, it's, I think this is focused by wire or something, and the, the, the it's just not fun to to try to manual focus with this thing. So, so um, yeah, I will be selling this. Um, just reselling it, and I'll, instead I'll be using the, this little for my telephoto. This 110 lens, the 50 millimeter, so it goes it goes a little bit farther than this, 45. So, and I've used it uh, plenty lately, and I really enjoy this one. So I'll be using this one, and it fits on that adapter really well. So I'll be selling this. I do recommend it, but just keep all those things in mind. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, what else I got coming up soon? I've got some more Q series stuff, and I've got a couple lenses coming in the mail. Oh, I've got that 24 or 28 millimeter f 2.8. Where's that lens? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my next review coming up. Well, that's the 50. <laughs> anyway, I have the I have the 24. Pentax F coming up soon. This is the 50, but it's around here somewhere. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you'd like. Thanks.